All right, I'm going to clean the chain. Um, if you already have the chain off, instead of using one of the on the bike chain cleaners, I don't know what you want to call it, I'm just going to use kerosene because it works really well. And I found if you just dip them in, something small that completely submerges it, just dip it multiple times, it'll actually, uh, it makes all the parts bend so they're actually turning and it gets all the stuff inside of there. I'm not doing this safe in any way, so don't follow my example. You're not supposed to get this stuff on your skin or anything, but I don't care. Um, yeah, but as you see, you just do it a few times. Look how dirty that is. It's nasty, right? But see, it comes clean as hell. Um, nice thing about kerosene, you can run that through coffee filters or whatever. You can reuse this to burn it. I mean, you can still use that afterwards. If you want to get it all the way clean, just do it a couple times. And as you see, that's pretty nice. So that's about as clean as you're going to get. So now I'm going to let this dry all the way and soak it in some oil. All right, now that we got the chain off, clean, and dry, uh, the easiest way I found to oil the chain thoroughly, I just put some oil in something. I completely submerge it. Because that way it'll actually get down inside all the little moving parts. You just do it by hand, it don't always go through every little piece. You can put swirls, wraps around, moves everything. That wasn't a smart way to pick it up because now look. Drip off a little bit. And wipe off the excess. It's not the most resourceful way to oil a chain, but it's definitely the most thorough. Comes the hard part of putting the clip back on with oil all over your fingers. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver. And that is that.